Julissa Contreras and I am a trip ambassador here on behalf of CCC ADI. Um, and as part of CCC ADI, I've done a lot of hosting and educational programming with the group and it's an honor to be here during this time because as, as an Afro-Dominicana, I come from a land that is still in search of its roots um, oftentimes and while there are a lot of Dominicans and Afro-Latino people who understand the connection and understand where the lineage comes from, there's a lot of people due to colonialism and capitalism who don't really understand the roots. So for me, it feels like an honor uh, because so many people were taken and, and were not able to return. So knowing that I'm a descendant, a daughter of Ghana and know that through DNA tests, it's really um, special to be here and connect in a way that I couldn't do if I wasn't here physically. Um, so through CCC ADI, um, I'm here with Godbox Tour and they are leading us through the journey um, in this spiritual pilgrimage and I'm very excited to be one of the ambassadors of this trip um, and participate with everyone and learn and grow together. Echo. Echo, Echo City. I call Simpson, connecting Africans in the diaspora to the motherland. Luchi beats this beat is smelling good. Black coffee, samaba. Doing more for black coffee, samaba. Yeah, yeah, na na. Forget all your worries, my brother. Link up, make we have some fun. My fire blow, chilling it in my tummy down. as well and elsewhere, we're going to dedicate this tour uh, to all throughout the trip. So I'm glad you're going to be seeing a lot of what we're doing all throughout. If you look at your bags, uh, we have t-shirts for everybody. Um, or um, if you land, uh, especially when it's your first time, that, you know, it's quite disrespectful to go straight to the hotel and not see the ancestors. It is tradition. Uh, wherever you go, once you land, to go see the elders, let them know that you're here, let the ancestors bless the trip before we start in. Um, and so that's how we do it. So it's going to be a pretty long day. Um, you know, we're still in a crop. <laughs> Hopefully, you know, we got some, we got some good food. And we can start, we can start. Um, I'm sure we got some good food. We got some drinks. Um, you can get up and help yourself if you want. They'll also serve. 
Um, some of that, if you if, if you don't drink alcohol, I, I suggest you don't go near the palm wine. The palm wine is, I don't know if you've heard about it, but it's, it's, it's pretty serious. It'll knock you out. If you're trying to go to sleep on a bus, you should do that. Um, but we also have some good drinks. Uh, we have um, Sobolo, something we call Sobolo. It's a mixture of um, uh, ginger and is it a uh, hibiscus? Right, hibiscus. Very, very nutritional, very good for you. But it's one of our you know local drinks as a staple. We have some coconut water um, as well. We have a couple of drinks there. So I mean, at any time, you know, I'm talking about at any time if you're thirsty or whatever, you can always help yourself. And we have some good food. We, we try to go traditional. This is how we do it when we get here. I know. Um, the Black Star is um, uh, representing the Marcus Garvey movement, the Back to Africa movement, and that's what we have on our, black, on our flag. So it's something that um, in Ghana, you know, our government is, supports um, diasporans who are coming back. Um, you don't necessarily allow other countries in Africa, the people are definitely receptive to that. Um, oftentimes, the governments are. And that's what sometimes separates Ghana from all other African countries. In Ghana, we have a constitution, um, the right of the world for people to do a citizenship, and they have dual citizenship to come back over and come back. So it extends all the way back to slavery. And that's what separates Ghana from a lot of So we, we've taken all that those responsibilities. Usually, when people come in, they come to Ghana, they do what they have to do, and then if we don't have to do it,